Hello, I'm Carolyn Berry, and welcome to The Remnant Show at the Open Space Gallery. Uh, I'm an encaustic artist, and I've been doing encaustic uh, painting and sculpture for about 13 years. Encaustic is beeswax that is either clarified or has pollen in it, mixed with Devar resin, which is a tree sap. And that raises the melting point of the wax from 150 degrees to over 200 degrees, so it becomes harder and more resilient. You can also add pigments to it. Um, in this exhibit, you're seeing some of my assemblage gourd boxes. And when I started doing these, I had been teaching public school and collecting things for over 20 years for my students to draw, just things for botanical illustrations. But then one day, I sliced open a gourd and I saw how beautiful they were inside. And they're like these little vessels, little wombs. And I thought, what could I put in those gourd gourds? So I um, had really never intended to make these. I had grown the gourds for another reason. I had boxes of them. Most of the gourds in the exhibit I grew. Uh, so then what I started thinking about doing is dipping the gourds in the wax. I dip them in and then I dip all the objects, the creatures, the little butterflies and mole hands and snakes. I dip them in the wax and then I start to use the wax almost like a glue gun. Uh, so they are all protected, they are all reinforced, and sometimes I even back some of the fragile pieces with things like silk tissue. Now, I'm often, I've been very influenced by the work of Joseph Cornell, and he made beautiful assemblage boxes with paper and found objects. And another artist named Judy Onofrio, who uses a lot of bones in her work. And so I started thinking about how I could display the gourds in a, a fashion that made them seem a little more important and drew you in to look more closely at the boxes. So I found antique drawers, old wood boxes, Occasionally I have to make a box so that I can find one that fits in a way that displays the gourds really well. Um, I, I really want people to be drawn in to look at how beautiful and how intricate things in nature are. It, it is such a, a marvel to see the tiny fragments of things that we pass by every day and that we don't often pay attention to. So hopefully th you will have fun looking at the work, be drawn in, and then start to try to imagine what kind of story or where all these little creatures came from. I'm Margie O'Brien, part of the collaborative duo of artists in this current show at Albuquerque's Open Space Visitor Center Gallery. I'm a 40-year professional artist, and through those years I've always kept sketchbooks, watercolor notebooks, nature journals, and I find that they become the inspiration well for the kinds of artwork that you'll see here at the show. Um, I would like to talk about several pieces, starting with this one right here titled Object of Desire. It is a collage of paper and fabric scraps. And it also has stitching and some acrylic paint. And uh, the magpie is an inquisitive, talkative bird known to be a symbol of communication. So I used that as sort of another layer of meaning for this piece. Um, the text relates to the communication and voice of the bird. They're also curious collectors, kind of like Carolyn and I and they've been known to be attracted to shiny objects and even picnic scraps. So this piece um, relates to the theme remnants in, on several levels. My earliest recollection of the word remnant was accompanying my mom to fabric stores when there was a remnant sale and she would use her purchases to create school clothes for us. And I thought of her while working on this project. I titled it A Dress for All Seasons. It's a paper patchwork dress and the leaf imagery on the papers comes from eco printing and mono printing and some transfer printing and even sun printing. The colors come mostly from the plant material, 
but I also enhanced some areas with watercolor because I wanted to depict the four seasons through color. So spring, summer, autumn to winter at the bottom. And another thing about this piece is when it is untied in the middle and taken off its hanger, it folds up like a zigzag book and stores in its own slipcase. So it is a wall art and it's a book. This piece of art is a book called A Threaded Accordion. The title of it is What Good is a Dead Tree? And its structure is a paper-backed piece of fabric that goes through the slots of every page. The book is extended on exhibit here, but it can also be folded up and put in a slipcase. Uh, dead trees we've seen in the forests are um, often the victim of disease or drought or even lightning. And people wonder what good is it? Well, it's a life giver for many creatures. From birds, we have birds and mammals and insects and even fungi on the rotting wood. So that's the story of this. Um, and when you look at a dead tree, you'll look at it differently, hopefully. And finally, this is a pair of paper pohaji banners. They also release from their hanging rods, fold up like zigzag books, and store in small slip cases. But here at the gallery, under this light well, it's the perfect place to get to exhibit them. It's called Wildfire, and the second one is called Out of Ashes. So this piece is about uh, regeneration and recovery after loss. And as we know, reforesting doesn't always look like what the forest would originally looked like. And isn't that true, though, about most of the changes in the cycle of life that we witness? So the show includes a variety of works of two and three dimensional pieces, and they all, all coordinated by the theme of remnants. And my hope is that when you come see the show, it will rekindle your sense of wonder about the changes in nature and remember that we are part of nature and we're changing too. So come to the show. Thank you.